Hey, what's up, soldiers of the internet? This is Casado Perfect bringing you another Pokemon Wi Fi battle video here. And uh, to be honest, I don't remember uh, against which person this video game was, or better, this Wi Fi battle. I don't know. I, I, oh, yeah, it's J Pocky Player, something like that, along those lines. I will hear his uh, YouTube account in the description if he watches this video. I will leave a link in the description to his channel if I can find out what his YouTube channel is. So we're gonna start off by. Uh, uh, you know with uh, Dawnfan and Staraptor. I'm gonna wait you turn out knowing that it could potentially go for the Ice Shard, Stone Age, or Stealth Darks. So uh, I thought the better choice would be to go out into uh, um, Shaming and scare him out. Uh, knowing that I will scare him out, I will do a double switch here into the Radio Steel and get uh, the opportunity to set up my Stealth Rocks. And uh, that's what I do here. He sends out a, a Celebi, by the way. So and he's gonna set up uh, Leech Seed, which is gonna be leeching out my life. And recovering his life as long as I stay in with the Regi still. So I'm gonna switch out, switch out here, predicting. I don't even know what I was predicting. I just wanted to uh, get out Electric Wire and see what was going on. At this point, I thought, um, hmm, what can uh, what can he possibly switch into? And he goes out into Trevor, which is a slacking. Now at this point, I'm like, uh, I was looking at the uh, base speed, and uh, I apparently watched it wrong because I thought I would be faster. So it seems like uh, Trevor Slacking has a higher base speed than Electivire. So that was a really face bomb on my face right there. So um, he's going to be able to take me out with the return. He's going to send out a Celebi as I send out my Kindra. So a very good, or I mean very bad matchup for me here. So I'm going to go ahead and set up with a Substitute. Um, knowing that he cannot touch me on this turn. So I get a free turn to set up Substitute here, which is great. Now I'm going to be uh, Dragon Dancing because, you know, if I don't set up something, I will not be able to actually do anything to his team. And I need to be faster than the slacking in order to make, uh, to make you know, to deal some damage to the slacking. Um, if I believe, I be at least I believe I do have an Ambipong on my team. But the bad thing is I don't have Fake Out on that set because I thought Substitute would be, would be the better choice since everybody expects the Fake Out. But um, it seems like uh, I paid the price once again for this kind of stupidities. So yeah, he's gonna go for another seed, uh, seed bomb, and I'm gonna go for the outrage here, as you can see, and then he's gonna switch out into the melodic. Uh, at this point, I'm like, God damn it, seriously, melodic. I have been facing melodic every day that I have been battling with the UU tier. Like, people really need to get used to uh, different things because, be I mean, people are just spamming the same Pokemon over and over again, and it seems like uh, if you're playing on you as well, you will be fighting a lot of. Uh, um, sea source and heat ran and shit like that, but um, you know people need to hoard what is most overpowering the game because they want they, they don't want to lose. So um, yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. So I'm gonna be able to take out the melodic, or I mean I don't even know what happened here because I wasn't looking at the screen. I'm gonna hit myself in the confusion, which is which is really bad. So it's gonna go from earthquake here, gonna finish me off in. The, oh, that was so bad. Actually, I wanted to get a uh, waterfall off or a outrage whatsoever. I just wanted to deal some damage to the uh, slacking. So as you can see here, I sent out my Staraptor. I'm just gonna go for the Brave Bird. I didn't go for the Close Combat, knowing that he would actually predict the, the that move and go out into Dolphin, and as I will get the uh, Special Defense and Defense Drop, he might go for the Ice Shard and finish me off very fast. So that's why I went for the um, Brave Bird instead. So at this point, I'm like, I'm gonna switch out into my Shaming. I was actually predicting the Ice Shard, but instead he goes for the uh, for the Stone Edge. Which, I don't know if I was breaking my switch, but um, I guess that worked out in the end for him because he gets some uh, nice damage on my Shaming. I'm gonna finish him off with a Seed Flare. That's gonna be good. So he's gonna send out a Slack, and at this point I'm like, well, he might go for a Return, or he might go for a Ice Punch, whatever it's gonna be. I think Registeel is gonna take it like a Beast. So I'm gonna take out, uh, or at least I'm gonna send out uh, Registeel here. And Ray still is gonna take that re retaliate or something like that. I couldn't read it, really read that move, which is kind of unfortunate. But anyways, um, I'm predicting the switch back into the uh, Celebi once again. So I'm gonna bring out my Staraptor. Um, really good play on my part there, but I'm not gonna be able to be switching out and switching in all the time because he's got Stealth Rocks on my field, and Staraptor, Staraptor is weak for that, and uh, he's gonna be taking a lot of damage from that. So I'm gonna go for the Brave Bird here. Um, because I knew that uh, if I went for the U-turn here on the next turn, I will be totally exterminated by the Stairfrox and I wouldn't be able to go for another Brave Bird and live to tell the tale. So um, I pretty much stayed in and went for another Brave Bird. I actually was I actually managed to take out two of his Pokemons, which uh, which is pretty cool. So Celebi and Electivire are down, but the main threat is still living on, which is Trevor. Um, it is lacking. I'm gonna send out my Ambipon here, and as you can see, this is gonna be the biggest fail on my life here. Look at this. I go for the Substitute. Everything looks very good because on the next turn, he's not gonna be able to attack me. 
which is absolutely amazing, which is pretty cool in my opinion. So I'm gonna go for another substitute now that I know that he cannot attack me because he's sloughing around. I'm gonna go for the double hit. And um, yeah, I'm gonna be dealing some uh, cool damage, but unfortunately, uh, he managed to, to live with like one HP and uh, that was really bad. So at this point, he goes for another retaliate, and this was the biggest fail in my life. I go for another substitute, forgetting that I do have life orb, that I just uh, committed suicide right there, because if I go for another move, I will kill myself with the life orb. I could have not uh, gone for the substitute and leave on to tell the tale by going for another double, double hit, but yeah. Kind of unfortunate, so it's a uh, 2 v one situation, but he's got the upper hand because he's got a uh, fire type uh, Pokemon, which is Houndoom, and uh, it's going to go for the Fire Blast, finish off my Registeel, and my last Pokemon is going to be a Shaming. Um, another Fire Blast is going to be able to take me out, and kind of unfortunate because this Shaming doesn't have any investment in Special Attack, and you're going to be seeing why this cost me the match. See, he aff I avoided the Fire Blast, I go for the Earth Power, and he what? guess what? He leaves on! Because I haven't really trained my uh, shame in special attack, it doesn't really have any investment in special attack, so kind of a kind of a you know let down right there. So yeah, it's gonna be a zero, uh, one to zero uh, win for him. Really good game, Jay. I enjoyed our battle, and uh, I'm feeling bad right now. That's why I sound maybe a little bit weird, and I'm making a lot of mistakes. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this Wi-Fi battle. I will be checking you guys in the next video. Until the next time, guys. Peace.